back, relax, maybe get yourself a snack. Me and you gonna have a little chat about books. Hi guys, so today I am so so excited about what is happening as today is the day that I am going into the local Waterstones and I'm going to be meeting Peter V. Brett who as you guys know is one of my favourite authors of all time he wrote the Demon Cycle series and I'm going to take you guys along for the day with me I don't know what it's really going to be, I don't know if it's just a signing or if he's going to give a talk or answer questions but do not fear, I will be filming it, whatever happens so super super excited about this I've never met an author before and it's going to be amazing, I can just Ah, oh, it's gonna be good, it's gonna be good. This is the book that I hopefully will be able to get signed. At the moment, as you guys can see, it doesn't have a signature in it. Very, very sad, but soon it will, and it will be amazing. So I've got my phone and my headphones, which I always listen to when I go in. Then I've got my book, which I'm obviously gonna get signed. And then I have my bag, which is actually new. I got this from New Look the other day, and I love it. So yeah, all my bits and bobs in there as well. Very exciting. Um, let's get going. Peter V. Bread, 12 o'clock, yay! This is what I'm going to be listening to on my way in. Yay! Just walking into that again. Should be amazing. Such a nice day. Sun shines out. Blue sky.
coming. Sorry for a little bit of a wait. Uh, I will sign whatever you put in front of me. If you want to take a picture, that's perfectly all right. If you have any questions you want to ask when you come up, it's great too. Thanks, everyone. Thanks to Waterstones for having me. Please buy something. <laughs> trying to get you all back before you're late for your lunch hour. C-A-I-T-L-I-N. There was another Caitlin last night. A-A-I-T-L-I-N. Sorry. Thanks for coming. Really? How's it working out so far? It's good. It's good. Sorry about the wait. I mean, I guess I got here right on time, but I was hoping to be early. Do you live here in Hawaii? Are you cutting class right now? Oh, well. I've just been recruited to stand here. <laughs> but I didn't say anything embarrassing, except for not knowing how to spell your name. Sorry about that. <laughs> guys, so I am back home now after meeting Peter Vibra. I had an amazing time, I met some lovely people in the queue, thank you to whoever it was that held the camera for me when I filmed, that was amazing, and we had some lovely conversations in the queue so that was really nice. I had an amazing time generally, it was so good. I completely forgot to ask him any questions, I completely forgot to tell him how much I liked the book. I don't really remember what I spoke about, so the first time I'm going to see it is when I rewatch the footage. But I had an amazing time, he was really really nice. So here is my book, and as you guys can see it is now signed. Caitlin, so lovely to meet you in Nottingham, Peter B. Brett, and then he's put the date at the bottom, and that is lovely. So, oh my gosh, I forgot to say anything about the book, but I absolutely adored this book, as you guys will see in my upcoming review. I basically loved this so so much, I would have given it a 6 out of 5 stars if I could because it was amazing and I cannot wait for the next one. Thank you to everyone who encouraged me to vlog whilst I was there, I'm sure that I'm gonna love looking back at this video. And it was a fantastic day, so yeah. I actually also got a few other books whilst I was out and I'm gonna show you guys them in this video just because why not. So the first thing I got from page 45 was Saga Volume 27 and it's super cool looking and I cannot wait to read it, it's very very short but I am happy that they gave me this little case, I'm going to keep this so I can put the other ones in it because I don't have a case or anything to keep the others in but this one is perfect so I will keep it and I will put the other ones that I have back at home in here as well to keep them nice. Then I also picked up Chew Volume 2 which I am so excited about, as many of you guys know I read the first one and loved it so I'm super excited about this. The guy in the comic book shop was talking to me about it and saying it gets even more wacky and strange but it's just a whole lot of fun so I can't wait for that one. And then whilst I was in Waterstones I saw the other day that Mercedes from Mercy's Bookish Musings got some of these and I loved the look of them. They look really really cute. They're all very very short little books and therefore the 80th anniversary of Penguin. And I got The Tinderbox, which is by Hans Christian Andersen. I have already read this and I really, really liked it when I was younger, so I wanted to have a little copy of it. This one is number 23. Then I have Goblin Market by Christina Rossetti, which is a poem that I actually studied in school, and it was one that I actually like still, despite having studied it for ages, so I thought it might as well be worth adding to my little collection, and seeing as they're only ATP, couldn't really resist, and it's super cute. Then I got The Great Fire of London by Samuel Pepys, and I think it's an extract from his diary. I'm not sure if it's the whole thing, it would be pretty short if it was, but I think it is an extract from his diary about The Great Fire of London, so that's pretty cool. And then I have something by a guy who I've no idea who he is, Richard Hackl Hackluyut, I'm not sure how you say that. And this is The Voyage of Sir Francis Drake Around the Whole Globe, and I was actually in Drake House when I was in school and so I've been kind of interested in Drake and I definitely want to learn a little bit more about him. 
So I have these four books and they look really, really cute together. And then I picked up my first editions of the new Terry Pratchett hardback covers, which are stunning. I got Equal Rights, Mort and Sorcery, which are book three, four and five chronologically. And I definitely intend to read these very, very soon. I love the covers. They are so stunning. As you guys can see all the way around, the whole cover is just beautiful. It's got these lovely foil embossings. I definitely think I will be doing a cover chat about these ones because they are so good and so beautiful and I love them. But I was super, super happy to pick these up. I definitely want to read more of Terry Pratchett's work because I love his books and I bought these whilst I was in the Waterstones waiting for Peter B. Brett. And finally Sorcery, which is the third one in the Wizards Academy series, I believe, mini-series of the Discworld. But I'm so, so excited. They look really beautiful. The colours are fantastic. So thank you all so, so much for coming on this day out with me and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm not sure how disjointed and crazy it's all going to be. I'm going to have to cut it together in a bit. So I hope it all worked out good and you liked the video you ended up seeing. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all very, very soon in another video. Bye! Me and you gonna have a little chat about the